Let's get started with the first assessment, the ONET Interest Profiler. Let me show you how to use this tool, and then you can try it yourself. The ONET Interest Profiler can help you find out what your interests are and how they relate to the world of work. On each screen, click the Next button at the bottom to continue. You can use the Back button at the bottom to reread the instructions or change your answers. Here's how it works. The ONET Interest Profiler has 60 questions about work activities that some people do on their jobs. Read each question carefully and decide how you would feel about doing each type of work. Strongly dislike, dislike, unsure, like, or strongly like. As you answer the questions, try not to think about if you have enough education or training to do the work or how much money you would make doing the work. Just think about whether you would like or dislike doing the work. This is not a test and there are no wrong or right answers. The first item for you to think about is whether or not you would like to build kitchen cabinets. I have no idea how to build kitchen cabinets, but I am certain that I would not enjoy it. So I will click strongly dislike. The same goes for laying brick or tile. I do think it would be interesting to develop a new medicine, so I will click like here. After I finish all of the items on this page, I will click next at the bottom to continue through the next four pages of items. Here's a word of advice. Try not to click unsure on any of the items because then your results won't be as strong. When I finish, there is an opportunity to go back and review my answers and make any changes if I want. On the next screen, I will see my Holland Code scores. Interests are grouped here into six categories, realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, and conventional. One of my highest levels is in the investigative category. Let me see what that means. I'll click on the word investigative and a new box will pop up explaining that people with investigative interests like work that has to do with ideas and thinking rather than physical activity or leading people. They like searching for facts and figuring out problems. Well, and that certainly describes me. So I'll click close and if there are any other interests I want to know about, I can click on those too. Now I'll click next. The next thing I need to think about is how much education or training I want. The Department of Labor has categorized this into five different job zones, with the lowest level being no experience or training, and the highest level being advanced experience and training. So I can think about where I am currently, or I can think about where I want to be if I'm interested in doing more training. If I want to know what medium job preparation is, I can click on that link and in a new window it will pop up explaining what kinds of experience, training, and education are typically in Job Zone 3. And there are also some example occupations. I'll close this and move on by hitting Next. Here I'll select a Job Zone and click Next. This screen summarizes my choices and I'll click Next to see my results. Here I have a list of results of occupations that match my interest profile. So people who have the similar interests that I do enjoy their jobs in these fields. If I'm not really sure that I like any of these, I can try looking in a different job zone. Here I want to see what would happen if I got a bachelor's degree. If I see a job that looks interesting, I can click on the title and in a new window mynextmove.org opens up with the full profile of this occupation so I can learn more about it, including the knowledge, skills, and abilities, and what kind of education is needed and what the job look, outlook looks like. Now you know how to use the ONET Interest Profiler.